So we've got the March 24 weekly update coming out uh, very shortly. This is the update that we were waiting for. We we're actually waiting for details on what they were actually going to give us on the most specifically around. So we knew about the player gifts, but like the honing materials, what they were going to give and all that kind of stuff. So let's run through the update here. No news on a uh, a roadmap or new classes or whatever, but this is what we're this is their so like a little background on that. Uh, this is the response that Smilegate and Amazon have for people being frustrated over the Argos update coming too soon. And then, you know, everything being very expensive and all that kind of stuff. So, but first, if you have any questions or comments for me, you'll find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash dry bear. Who knows? I might even be streaming right now. Uh, we'll just go through this bit by bit. Heroes of Arcasia in the letter we released with Smilegate RPG last week. We communicated some upgaming adjustments to honing materials, new events, and the start of competitive proven grounds to PvP Season 1. Uh, these all arrive in this week's update, releasing on March 24th. Uh, expected downtime of 8 hours, uh, starting at 12 a.m. Pacific. If I list, okay. So Spotlight, they're adding in casual Guardian raiding raid event. Enjoy Guardian raids in a more casual way. I don't know who was asking for this, but I guess... I guess we were. I <laughs> Relax, play, and get honing rewards. So you can just play. This is a separate event from your Guardian. Scales of Balance is applied to change the character stats to match the Guardian's level. I guess this is like a baby version of Heroic Raids, where you have, you know, your gear is scaled to the, the difficulty. The difficulty is adjusted according to the number of participants. That's pretty normal. Um, you'll be able to challenge Helgaia, Frost Helgaia, Lumerus, Urnil, Virtus, Cremanium, Nacrasina, Dark Lagoros, Icy Lagoros, Calventus, and Levinos. The last roughly a month and players with item level 250 or above. So you don't even need to be, uh, you don't even need to be all the way there in order to, that's okay. Interesting. So you can just be pre, pre 02 and still go against guardian raids. I guess it's a way to try it out. If you haven't hit that point yet, uh, you can enter once a day and earn specific event coins, spend on new rewards at a vendor, complete the raid during the week. will grant 200 coins and a weekend will grant 300. This vendor can be found in the major cities and will be fully stocked with tier one, two, and three honing material chests, metallurgy, and tailoring books. So these are the items that allow you to um, give a big boost to your success rate when you hone. Uh, and a T3 gem chest available. That's huge. That's actually really good. So this should give you uh, some number of maybe level two or level one gems for tier three, which is pretty cool. Uh, PvP season one is up. This is a big one because it gives us the PvP uh vendor which does give you honing materials and other rewards so it's nice to have this up um it will begin march 24th players will be able to queue for the solo for the team deathmatch mode battling each other for the precision rewards and then you'll get uh average score on your rank to determine by your score as with the rewards received uh and this is the one they they showed for the rank so you just have a vendor you can spend stuff on this one uh they gave in other regions and i guess it's now finally coming to western game so this is a Player or we're going to get a pet. Um, we're going to get a whole bunch of skins here. Um, little cats and whatever. These are all just kind of goofy skins. This is a item for your stronghold. You can get this Universal Studios looking thing. Lost Ark Globe. You can place it in. And then you get a mount, which is like this snowboard looking hoverboard thing. As mentioned in last week's newsletter, fans around the world start letting all the new players now enjoying the game. Um, we want everyone to be included. So this is coming to the West as well. The gift includes... Animal skin selection chest. So that's one of these here. A pet selection chest, which is these up here. Uh, Makoko board mount selection. The United structure, which is this one up here for your stronghold. An appearance change ticket. So you can change the look of your character with one of these. 132 Fions. That's nice. Metalix tome, five of those. And two legendary card pack selection chests. So these are important because some of them are random. Some are selected. You may want to hold on to these um, if these are the ones that allow you to pick the cards you need um, and help fill in the, the gaps. So maybe hold on to those. And on top of that, this is one that we were waiting for. Uh, we're holding off on jukebox songs. We'll get one of these, um, I guess, in there. But the jukeboxes aren't in the game. This allows you to just listen to music um, from the end game. When opening each chest, players can choose between the options listed below it. So I guess when you open, we're going to get one of these each. So you'll get five Leapstone selections. So you can get uh, 250 Tier 1 or Tier 2 Leapstones, which is a good amount. Or you can get, uh, what is it, 150 uh, Tier 3 Leapstones, which is pretty cool. You can get uh, six Guardian Stone, which is a thousand. So 6,000 Guardian Stone Fragments for Tier 1, 6,000 for Tier 2, 
or you can get 1200 um upgrade crystals for tier three you can get uh 2000 destruction so this is the armor this is the armor crystals the destruction ones 2000 destruction weapon stones for tier one or tier two or 1200 for tier three or 400 for tier three i should say um a honing special material selection chest which is again is the um, metallurgy you select either this is not all this is either so you're saying i care most about my tier one pro progression tier two progression or tier three and then you'll get these upgrade books which are big chunks uh improvement for your honing success chance two fusion material selection chests you get the 50 for tier one so it's 100 for tier one or 50 for tier tier sorry 100 for tier two and then uh 54 or 50 for tier three which is decent it's not a crazy amount but it's it's not nothing that's pretty cool these gifts will show up in your product inventory after the weekly updates so when you log in after the up the 24th update you'll have this in your product inventory and if you join us in the near future, you'll also be granted these gifts on their first login. Uh, and that'll be later. So I guess that's kind of for, you know, maybe new people. Uh, Grand Prix reward adjustments. Added metallurgy and tailing books to the Grand Prix, which is awesome. Increased quantities of honing materials from the Grand Prix. Destruction stone crystals is now in bundles of 50 and can be redeemed 10 times. So 500 on the weapon crystals. Uh, wow, per week. And then this one is... 150 10 times so 1500 uh on that increased coins earned to make purchasing the new items and snagging the rewards you want easier chaos dungeons and guardian rays now grant 125 coins instead of 100 for the first two daily completions wow the grand prix itself can now award up to 888 coins why is this why did they add such a weird number oh because uh, maybe it's because uh, yeah maybe it's the eighth whatever new year thing New fraud and bot prevention system. So they're adding more on the bot prevention. And I think the them banning as many bots as they have has been helping um, lower some of the auction house nonsense. Um, so yeah, we're continuing listed. In this update, we've included a new prevention system to crack down on bots. Players who have a Steam account in good standing and have met all the small purchase requirement needed to use Steam social systems shouldn't be impacted. Shouldn't be impacted is the, is the key here. Players who have not met this trusted status will have a limited on uh, how much they can buy daily. Initiating player-to-player -player trades, requests can still be received. Sending in-game gifts, they can't exchange royal crystals for gold. So if you're flagged as a bot or someone untrustworthy, they will, <laughs> you can't send in-game mail attachments, which is the bots were spamming people a lot doing this as well. Uh, they want players to enjoy Lost Ark, safe from engaging fraudulent purchases, blah, blah, blah. The only dangers in the cards should be demonic hordes, voracious wildlife, and colossal guardians. Oh my god, what phrasing. Uh, we strive to remain flexible, listening to feedback, additional improvements for NTG system, but also been enabled this update. So hopefully some better targets to, to bots uh, help that will help with that. Added more clear messaging on failed purchases. Good. Updated and improved localization, and then we got bug fixes. Fix initial allies to accept the, the quest off the races without being level 50. Fix voice chat related issues in the South America region. Fix an issue that caused Adventure Island rewards to only be claimable once during the weekend. I never encountered this, but that sounds horrible. Fix an issue with the world boss achievement. Players that earned this achievement previously will now see it completed. And that is it. So the big stuff from this is PvP vendor. So season one starts. Uh, you can now do this casual guardian event once a day that gives more benefits on the weekend, which is pretty cool. And it has honing mats in it, plus a tier three gem chest. Uh, they're going to give us a free gift of a pet selection, a mount selection, a, uh, an animal skin selection, and a stronghold uh, globe you can put in your stronghold. Um, plus a legendary card, Metal X Tome, 132 Fions, and an appearance change. And then you'll get... Um, five leap stone selection chest, six guardian stone selection, two destruction stone selection, one honing special material, and two fusion material. And these work for all tiers that have these items. So you can choose whether you're going to have tier one, tier two, tier three, those sorts of things. Uh, and this all comes for free and it should be up in your product inventory. And they're improving the amount you'll get inside the Arkesia Grand Prix. So this is a good amount. Um, it is a good amount. So whether, I mean, you have to choose what tier you want to get the, the honing materials. But it's cool to get extra, you know, extra extra skins and 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 binguses. That's always cool. Uh, and then we get all these other options. So that's awesome. I mean, we still don't have heroic raids or legion raids or any of the other stuff. So having these extra options for farming until those come out is nice. So what do you guys think about this patch? Is this what you wanted? Does this? If you were someone that was pretty upset about how things were working in tier three. Uh, does this solve some of your frustrations? 
or not? Good question. Uh, let me know. But that is the March 24th update. It's going to be cool. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's do it. Let's do it. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content. Link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.